Yo, what's up? We're in San Francisco, California and Barcadero 4 and we are at the Harbor View restaurant and today we're installing a Mature D robot that's going to be driving around delivering food around this restaurant. So we're programming it today. The senior programmer is here and we're going to be showing you guys what's going on. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, you want it on this. <laughs> it came right out. <laughs> <laughs> Brian did it right. That's how you want it. I listen. <laughs> Good job. I was testing you guys. You Idiot. That's so the um, the robot has a, a lidar sensor and a camera on top that looks up at the ceiling so it knows where it's at. So if it gets unplugged and it woke up somewhere, it'll look for these in the ceiling and know, oh this one's by table five. And then it knows how which path to get back on. Okay. Yeah, so each one of those has its own binary code, he said, so as it scans it, we're going to assign it, I guess, we're going to push it along, get to this one and say, this is where you're at between table two and four, okay. and then that's, we'll assign that binary code to a spot on the map after we push them around. So, how long ago did you guys get the idea for the robot? Uh, I think, um, I want to share probably saw it, I want to say maybe about a few months ago, uh -huh. uh, but only really kind of took off um, in maybe a few weeks now. Uh -huh. uh, I think the idea has kind of always been, we haven't really pursued it or haven't really thought about it necessarily, but the pandemic obviously has, has kind of right. accelerated and kind of any, any kind of... Um, yeah, any type of touch, touch, touch screen. screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, automated. Yeah, touch Anything screen. to automate to, to help uh, alleviate the, the, the lack of... You know, people working. Like people working and lack of contact, I lack guess. Lack of contact, yeah, Versus. especially during yeah, uh -huh. the whole, you know, six feet and no, you know, yeah. touching that kind of stuff. So, <clears throat> do you think um, management also wants to, side note, can also cater to tech guys coming? Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, you know, because, you know, just the area. Yeah, right? the area down here, people uh -huh. are, are always into the something uh, new. new. Yeah, something interesting that's brand yeah. new, never uh -huh. seen it before. Um, fascinating idea yeah and it's it's cool too because it's not like some robot stuff i see is kind of gimmicky but this is like actually doing a purpose right? yeah 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 <laughs> so it's not like hi at the door it's actually bringing food right 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 taking right. the trash right dipping it back actually can help yeah, uh, yeah yeah you know if it's set up the right way for sure so we'll we'll see how it goes i guess with your first couple of runs here today are you guys actually going to try it tonight I, yeah i guess so we're going to give it a shot um i think originally we were trying to um we were planning on kind of more food service like bringing food out to the table but uh -huh. after realizing kind of let's say the size of the robot and, and also one of our big things was, is also the speed of you know, the getting food from kitchen to table back out. is, is mm -hmm. very important um, yeah it's gonna be a learning curve too for yeah. customers of is that my plate or? Yeah, right 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 so. <laughs> almost like walking with with your hostess or whoever delivering the food like that's how you grab it i guess until you get some regular scene it or until right, you guys right, see how right. it works too huge right. learning curve i still think it's super cool though yeah i agree no i agree it's going to be uh, very interesting we're gonna, i think it's going to be a lot of fun and, and uh, great to have it is it is going to be potentially um you know because people are not used to it right right Just walk right into it or or you step in the front of, yeah, yeah step right in front um because when, when we do get busy it will be yeah what is your like lunch rush is this thing usually fill up more during lunch time or do you guys open up again at night both, both. um both, it depends but both um but generally for example on the weekends we're really just full like super busy so i'm, I'm not sure how that's gonna work it's like people everywhere right maybe um, that day it's like Doop, your monday yeah. to friday but that, that's also the days that we we would want to use it yeah, cause yeah there's more people but at the same time we need more help you know right, right. Um, so we'll, we'll see how yeah. it goes but i think tonight would be a good um yeah, good to test try. Run. It's not too busy, but it's not, you know, it'll be enough to kind of work people. Oh, that's interesting. Right, right. Yeah, Tuesday, not a Friday. Right. Not right, a Saturday. Right. 
Well, thank you, Frank. Yeah, thank you. Okay. All right, Art, what did you learn? You are here the whole time? Yeah, I was here the whole time. <laughs> I uh, hand-built the robot by myself. By himself. By myself. I'll let you guys do some shit next time. I'll meet some stuff <laughs> next time. <laughs> Brian was the programmer. Brian had the program go. Wonderful. <laughs> Brian understands the code. He wrote the code for the program, actually. So, <laughs> Anyways, that's it. That's our second robot install. This one's a little bit more in-depth than the first one. At least we got some hands-on training. See you guys in the next one. Later.